Hello everyone, I am Harshita and today we are going to discuss about the topic auto accounting rule and the payment terms. So first we will discuss about the auto accounting rule. What are the auto accounting rule? Auto accounting rule configuration we need to do in the AR application so that we can create a accounting entry. If you are not going to create an auto accounting rule in the AR application, then you are not able to do any accounting entry in the receivable. So hence, this is very much mandatory to do the auto accounting rule configuration. There are 12 types of accounts which we need to specify in the auto accounting rule. But when we are practicing the setups, if you have load the data by using the rapid implementation sheet, then out of 12 type, there are some accounts which you can see they are already created in the application as we have loaded the rapid implementation sheet. So this is about the auto accounting rule concept. Basically, they are mandatory so that you can create an accounting entry in Visible, without which you cannot create an entry in the Visible. So uh, let's go to the application and see how auto accounting rule configuration is done in the application. So moving to the application. Now, after logging to the application, go to setup and maintenance. And from task list, go to manage implementation project. Search for your project. Search for the task. Manage auto accounting rule. Manage auto accounting rule. Just go to task. Now, as I've already discussed that we have when I was practicing, I have loaded the data by using the rapid implementation sheet. So there are some accounts which are already created in the auto accounting rule. So for that, I'm just going to give my business unit here and search for the same. You can see that disable revenue tax, debit tax, freight, auto invoice clearing, unearned revenue and earned bill receivable is already created here under my business unit, right? But as I said, there are 12 accounts. If you want to see all the accounts, just click on this add icon. You can see that account type is coming here. There are 12 accounts in total, which we can create from this auto accounting rule. As and when we require the, the accounts, you can just navigate to this manage auto accounting rule and can create the account here. Fine. Like, if we will take factored bill receivable, we can see that segments, value source, constant value. This thing has been activated as I selected the account type. So you can just click here. You can give a value source or you can give a constant value for the company segment. Okay, you can just pick a constant value here for the company or you can give a value source. There are three types of source available. Remittance bank, transaction type and site. From this three source, the value will be derived as whatever you have, whatever you fix as a value source, the value will be derived from this source only. There are three value source available for each account type, but for the revenue, for the revenue account type, there are four types of value source available. Like if I will show the revenue account type, you can see that revenue is already created. Fine, if I'm going to create again revenue, it will not allow us. You have already defined auto accounting is coming here. So first I need to select this and delete this revenue account type, which is already there. Okay, now I will show you there are four value sources are available for this revenue account type. Like if I will select the revenue here, you can see value source, transaction type, salesperson, site, and standard lines are available here. So you can select any of this as a value source. This four type is available for revenue account only. For the rest of the account type, there are only three 
value source available fine so you can give your value source constant or constant value and can make your auto accounting rule fine so this is how auto accounting rule is configured in this instance after giving all this account type value source and constant value you can just save and close the same so this was all about the auto accounting rule now our next concept is the payment term so moving to the payment term payment term what does it mean it means or it help us to determine the due date of customer invoice there are various payment term which we can create in the instance like for an example immediate we can create a payment term name as immediate what does it mean it means that the invoice is due for today only in a same manner we can create payment term of like net 30 or net 45 what does it mean it means that the invoice is due after 30 or 45 days fine so this helps us in determining the due date of invoice in payment term we can create multiple installments and can also create early payment discount to each payment term line like i have taken one example of net 30 here and i have created one scenario like if under this net 30 there are two installments due one of 50% which need to be paid within 15 days and for the next 50% next 15 days is given fine and for the first installment of 50% i have created one discount early payment discount that if it is paid within 5 days then 5% discount is available and after that there is no discount available in a similar manner for the next balance 50% installment due if it is paid early like within 5 days there is 3% discount available and after 5 days there is no discount available so this is one example i have created basically the installments and the discount for each installment depends upon the business requirement it depends upon the client how he or she want to determine the payment term how there is requirement to give the installments and the discount line for the payment terms fine so this is one example and we will use this example to prepare payment term in the instance so moving to the instance now in the application search for the task name as payment term and select manage receivable payment terms to create the payment terms in the receivable manage receivable payment terms go to task now to create new payment term click on this add icon now first of all you need to select the payment term set it can be common or you can give your own term set here term set is nothing but the reference data set so i am here giving the one i have created not the common set but the us one business set i am selecting that here then give a name
Now, after giving a name, give a discount basis. I'm giving here invoice amount. Discount basis. Date, I'm giving as a receipt application date only. From date is the today's date. Then the installment option. I'm giving it as include tax and freight and cost installment. Basically, these configurations depends upon your requirement. So as per your requirement, you can select from the drop down whichever option is convenient. Fine. After giving all this, you, uh, you can see that print lead days are coming. Here, we should give 30. As we are creating a payment term with net 30, so I'm giving a 30 year. Then one more thing you should keep in mind is whatever the base amount you are giving, it should be equal to the total amount of the relative amount here. Fine. This base amount should be equal to the total of the relative amount. So in the example which we have discussed earlier in the presentation, it was we have taken two installment of the 50-50%. So I'm making one installment with 50. Here I'm going to give 50. Days 15. Then for adding one more installment, click on this add icon. You can see that 50 is coming by its own because we have given base amount as 100. Give 15 days here. Now, if you want to add an installments discount, like if you want to add discount for the sequence one, just click on this. You can see that sequence one discount is coming. So for this installment, you can give a for that installment, you can give a discount by just clicking on the add icon. Give a percentage like we have taken in our example. It was 5% if paid within five days. After that, no discount. In the same manner, if you want to give discount for the sequence two, that is installments two, just click on this. You can see that sequence two. Discount is coming here. Click on add icon to add the discount for this. And as per example, it was 3% if paid within five days after that, no discount. So like this, you can create an installment and by selecting one, one, one installment, you can add number of discounts for that particular installments. After giving all this information, just go to save and close and save your payment term. Fine. So this was, this was all about the payment term creation in the instance. Thank you.